Hey everybody, Steve 87th here with a little bit of an update. I've been a little delinquent on some uh, videos lately. I haven't had a lot to actually put out and all, but um, I decided to put out this one. So this is actually all of the things that I won during the prize giveaways this Christmas with the exception of Go Via Go Home. Hello, CC. Nice of you to join me. Um, and... <laughs> Uh, and also everything that I bought at my recent train show that I went to. So let's go ahead and take a look at everything that we got. And again, thanks for watching. All right, everybody. So let's see what we got since I am doing all of the drawings that I won. So the first one, which was actually the last drawing that I got, was from Jim Tedesco. And... I won a couple of dark, medium-sized uh, ballast. Now, um, this may not be my normal color. I think you guys can see that pretty well. However, I might be able to use this for different things, such as the piles of wood um, and different rock piles and things like that. Uh, sides of roads and all that. So that'll be kind of cool. So thank you, Jim. I'm glad I got that one. So, like I said, going in backwards order, um, I got this really long package. So we're going to see how well we can open this up. And this is from Vinny. Okay. So I am doing an opening. The last one I actually opened myself already. So I'm not going to worry about that. Ah, this is going to be fun to open, I can see, and I can see Vinny had a fun time packing it. Yeah, you guys can't see what I'm doing off camera because it's just too big to put this all in the camera. Ugh. Got nice, strong packing tape. And most of this is intact. Hey, you look, I can actually see what's in there now. So we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting this open. Here we go. Now I think we got it. Oh, okay. So that was half of it. So this is the 2% starter kit. Oh my, I didn't realize that I won two things from Vinny. I wasn't sure about that. And then this one is a New York Central um, box car. Let me just make sure there's nothing else down here. Nope. Okay, so what did I get? I got a 2% grade starter kit, which is actually really kind of neat because I'm going to need this for a bridge or two that I have. Um, so this way I get to check and see how this works. So that's nice. Thank you, Vinny. And then apparently I won a secondary prize. Oh, and here's a couple of Vinny stickers. Um, have seen better days through the mail. <laughs> but that's okay. And then lastly, there is a New York City Conrail boxcar. Wow. All right. Yeah. So I didn't know that I had gotten this. I forget all the things that I get and all. So this will be kind of cool. Now, I think what's going to happen to this, though, this is going to get really weathered. And we're going to kind of de-conrail this kind of a bit since I'm all West Coast. 
but that's pretty nice. I mean, it's got nice bottom details to it, chain detail and all that. This is an Atlas uh, master line. It has the Atlas uh, um, couplers on it with uh, see-through walkways. Really nice hand grips and all that. So it is modern, which is nice. So yeah, this will be kind of a cool little addition. I'll have to put that on there. Now I understand why the box is so big. All right, I'll figure that out. But anyway, okay, so two prizes from Vinny. So thanks, Vinny. I appreciate that. Um, I will put this stuff off to the side. I always have to record all my things that I get. And then lastly, which was the first prize I won for Christmas, we are going to look at the prize that I got from Sparky. Now, like most other people, I just had my knife and I have no idea where it went to. So now I gotta find a backup knife. All right, one of the other things that I got during Christmas were a bunch of logging cars. I got two different sets of them. One is from Weissman Models. Um, they're skeleton log cars, which this came out pretty kind of cool. Um, and I believe that those are that these are them. Now, it's neat because I do have a picture of one of these types of log cars, so I know what they look like. And then the other one, uh, I can't remember the manufacturer. I don't want to say that this is Katie. This, these are somebody else's. Um, but they also go kind of together rather quickly. What's nice about these is these are metal models, but I am going to have to clean them up and all that and then paint them. And these are going to go on along with my Warehouser engine that I got not too long ago, which was the uh, Shea that I got, which is a Warehouser Shea. I thought it was a Climax, but it's actually a Shea engine. So that's another little project that I get to do. Um, we're also going to continue on with uh, this video. I'm going to show you some of the things that I got at the train show that I just went to not too long ago. Okay, so now I'm just going to do a slideshow of all of the different things that I got when I was at the Puyallup train show, the Great American Train Show in Puyallup, Washington, um, just this past weekend. Uh, the train show itself wasn't that great. Uh, vendor wise, you saw the other ones where all of the uh, displays and all that, those were really kind of cool. So we're going to just go ahead and go through the items that I got. So here's a little slideshow of my uh, buys at the train show. Okay. So first off are some cat vehicles that I got from Diecast uh, Masters. Is he a dump truck? And then I got a couple of uh, cement mixers, and another log hauler, which was kind of cool. Then I got a Border Patrol car from uh, River Point Station. And then I found this generic green tractor. I thought that would be kind of cool. You know, a farmer makes new tractors. Um, got a concrete pumper at like 15 bucks. It was cheap. I also got a roller that was about the same price. Got some self-storage. Um, and then I found this uh, Durango uh, Rio Grande uh, covered hopper, as well as these two packs of cover hoppers for Burlington Northern Santa Fe. Got a couple more round bolt containers. Um, these are some ditch lights that I need to have and put on one of my train cars. And then finally, I wound up buying a little tiny speeder from Durango Press. All right, model railroaders. So that's what has been happening over the past month or so. Uh, again, I want to say thank you, uh, early thank you to Chris and to Sparky and Vinny and to Jim. Um, oh, yes, and to Michelle from uh, uh, Greeley, uh, the Colorado Railroad Museum for the prizes from this Christmas. That was a whole lot of fun. Um, had a great time doing it. And then the Great American Train Show at the Puyallup Fairgrounds here in Washington. Um want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, if you, Please like and subscribe to this video if you want. And go check out some of the other things that I did, especially the uh, train show video of all of the uh, layouts that were there. So uh, this is Steve87 and my cat Cece saying uh, so long, and we will talk to you guys later.